Amatuba Judge. Now, yesterday, we, we began to talk about the attitude that enhances your knowledge of God. Now, I told you that this year, the Lord says, focus on the knowledge of God. Focus on the knowledge of Jesus Christ. See, now, I said knowledge of God, knowledge of Jesus Christ. We are talking about the same thing. Because, you see, God is Jesus and Jesus is God. And some people want to argue, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus said, I and my Father are one. <laughs> Praise God. No, no, no. That's, that's the stand you know, I'm, I'm coming from. I and my Father is one. So to know God is to know Jesus Christ. To know Jesus Christ is to know God. Praise God. Remember, Jesus even said, no man cometh to the Father. But true except through me see so if you don't know him now that doesn't mean jesus will take you by the hand and say now let me introduce you to the father it is this because you know jesus said to philip said haven't i have i been philip said show us the father then we'll be fine and that's in john chapter 14 and jesus looked at him and said have you by have i been so long with you and you have still not known me hey he didn't say, show me you. He said, show us the Father. And Jesus said, how come you have not known me? And then he said, he that has seen me has seen the Father. It's as simple as that. Praise God. So, when we say knowledge of God, knowledge of the uh, knowledge of Jesus, we're talking about the same thing. Now then, he says, we, we, I, I was talking to you about faith. And when 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 5 it says add to your faith now i was telling you yesterday he didn't say add faith the reason he didn't say add faith is because faith is given to you faith comes to you now this is where this whole journey of your knowledge of god begins it begins from when faith comes to you now you are not born again until faith comes to you See, what do I mean? Faith come to you. Uh, I, I went to church five years ago and the pastor preached and the message touched me. And then I went out for altar call and I prayed those prayers and I got saved. Oh, is it the prayer you prayed that got you saved? No, sir. It is not the prayer you prayed. There are lots of people that came out for that altar call with you or in several altar calls that are still not saved today. The altar call saves nobody. I'm telling you the truth. What saves a man is his response to the word of God that he has heard. Now, the word of the preacher, no, no. See, no preacher can save you. While the preacher is speaking, Jesus is also speaking. Now, if that preacher is anointed of God, see, Jesus is also speaking. So the people will hear the voice of Jesus. So there are, there are people, you know, even as I'm talking right now, you, you, you can relate with what I'm saying. Now, you, you were listening to the preacher. And, and maybe the preacher hadn't yet said, if you want to give your life to Christ, come up. But you were there sitting down and listening to the preacher. And you just told yourself, hey, guy, I think it's high time I stop all this nonsense I'm doing and give my life to Jesus Christ. I, I think it's high time. You know, some of you are watching um, a TV program. You know, sometimes you, you're just in your room and you say, you know what, it's high time I give my life to Jesus Christ. Now, what, what, what made you think so? You think it's someone that's trying to convince you? No, you had something in your heart. You had the voice of God in your heart. And Jesus is telling you, it is high time you come home. And then you begin to look at it and think about it. And then some, the devil tried to throw all the obstacles your way. He said, no, 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 no. I'll go with Jesus. And when that altar call is given, you are among the first to get up because you don't need any encouragement. You just feel like this is your time. Praise God. It's not a preacher you're responding to. You're responding to that voice inside of your heart. Jesus speaking to you. So faith came to you. And you responded to it. Now you, you are saved. Praise God. Now it's the same thing. The Bible said in Hebrews, he says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now I want you to note this. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Meaning, he is the one that begins it. And he is the one that finishes it. What does that mean? A lot of people think they have faith in God. But they don't. They actually have faith in themselves. When somebody wakes up, you know, and say, I'm going to achieve this thing. You, you have to be careful whose faith you are exhibiting. Is it faith in God or faith in yourself? 
many times. And that's why things fail. And if I believe, but I have faith, faith in what? Faith in God. What did he tell you? Um, no, but, but his words said, no, no, no. See, when you find out what his word says, faith hasn't come yet. You take his word to him and you begin to ask him questions about his word. Not in doubt, but Lord, just like Daniel did. Lord, how come you told Jeremiah 70 years and, and what's going on now? And then God began to speak to Daniel. Now, when God began to speak to Daniel, that was when faith came to him. You see, so you must wait for faith to come. You must wait for Jesus to begin your faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? If Jesus doesn't start it, he's not going to finish it. Don't think you can ambush Jesus into your faith work and say, I, I have faith. Jesus, hmm, yeah, this my faith must not fail. What did he tell you? He's, he's got no, I mean, he, he's got no obligation to fulfill your faith. But when your faith is in him, it will never fail. And how, does, how do you know your faith is in him? When he begins it. And how does he begin it? Faith cometh by hearing. He will speak to you. So get yourself in the place where he will speak to you. And that doesn't have to be so great a thing to do. You know, even as you're hearing me right now, you, you can just like, Lord Jesus, I think I need you to talk to me about faith. That's where it begins. You know, I, I was talking to my wife uh, recently and we were just looking at some things. I said, hey, you know, all our children, they, they, their names came by faith. See, why? Because we heard the voice of God speak to us. And we responded in agreement. So, so we were just talking about it. See, see, see these children, they are anointed children. Praise God. We don't just, oh, what kind of name, what good name should we give? No, no, no. We went before the Lord and said, Lord, what, what do you think? What's your mind concerning this child? And then the Lord will give us a name, not just called in child this. No, he, he tells us the reason for it. And so we, we, anytime we call their names, we know where they are going. Praise God. I've got to stop here today. But listen, that's how you get faith. Wait for it. And when it comes, I'm going to start telling you tomorrow what to do with your faith. Praise God. Listen, today is going to be a great day. I sense favor. I just sense the, 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 the spirit of favor even right now. And I release it on you today. In the name of Jesus, whatever you desire of the Lord, I command favor to you right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come back with a testimony today. Amen. Bye-bye.